How do you become superhuman? Well, I thought about this this morning as I was journaling. Now, here it is, 5 a.m., um, and I'm, my family's asleep, but I was journaling out there, and I was thinking about how do you become superhuman? Like, what is it? Why do some people seem to excel and others don't? And then I, as soon as I thought that, I turned my head, and I noticed a bent nail, a nail, a thick nail that was bent by David Whitley when I was in a conversation with him. So I'm talking to David Whitley. He pulls out this nail and bends it with his bare hands. Now, David wrote a book on called Superhuman You. It's a fantastic read, and I highly recommend it. But David represents what a lot of us think is impossible really is not. And when I was talking to David, and I was talking to him about what does it take, you know, to be a strong man, to be superhuman like he is. He's able to bend bars, you know, be on a call with me, a video conversation, and actually bend this thick nail right in front of my eyes. What does it take? And he told me, he's like, Doug, it's mostly mental. It's the mental game. There's a million strong men out there, but very few can do what David does. And the difference between David and the other people are not his biceps, aren't his physical strength. It's the space between his ears. It's his mental clarity and his ability to work on himself. And the fact that David is continually bettering himself just goes to show you that everybody can be superhuman and even superheroes are working on themselves. So today I'm going to ask you, in your five to thrive, what are some, what's something that you feel might be impossible? What's something that feels just so out of reach that you just think, ah, I could never do that? Is it bending a nail? Is it bending an iron bar like David Whitley can do? Or maybe it's something else. Maybe for you it's running a 5K or a marathon or, you know, or an ultra. Or maybe it's actually being in a loving relationship where you can trust deeply. Or maybe it's growing your business. Maybe you are a business owner and you've only made, you know, 100,000 or a million or 10 million in a given year and you can't imagine taking it to the next level. Well, has somebody else done it? If so, you have a limiting belief upon yourself. So I want you to write those down because identifying those is the first thing. Identifying those limiting beliefs gives you the opportunity to see clarity and realize that those obstacles in front of you is just the space between your ears. That's it for me today. As always, go out and inspire somebody simply by being the author of your own story. I have a question for you. What if you could transform your life for the better in just 90 days? Would you do it? Our 90 day game is an online program and community created for people like you who are ready to make a shift and take those dreams and goals they've been talking about for years and turn them into a reality within 90 days. Go to authorofyourownstory.com forward slash 90 dash day dash game and turn your goals into reality. And don't forget to be the author of your own story.